For myself, I like to be on the move. And I can't seem to like just sitting around. In this particular job, I'm my own boss. Time, it doesn't make any difference. The excitement, well, as we would call it, excitement of the driving the truck, listening, you sort of listen to the motor. And the different types of country that you pass through. As the soil changes out here, uh, sand, black soil, and the truck is all the time changing speeds and you're, you're changing down. So it's something that you're a uh, master. Well, what's going to be is chef. Nothing else but pots and pans. And today, dust, heat, uh, plenty of flies, eating on the road, and your dust in your tucker. Help the boys up around the bend here and get a bit hungry. Time we had lunch. It's been a long morning. The old tin food. Someone told me once, if you don't like what you're eating, you have a tin thrown right over your shoulder and <laughs> never look back at it again, because if you do, you'll never buy it. trip way out west, uh, 300 miles due west of Berg. Uh, we finally arrived at, at this property and I asked his wife for the directions. And she got the pad and the pencil out and she was telling me to go through this gate and that gate, over this hill, round a tank, just kept on going. And I said, did she? just how far this cattle yard was going to be. When she told me that I had just on another 60 to 70 miles to go to his cattle yard, and that was the back paddock. Of course, when after doing the distance that you've already done, you feel like just going outside and, and having a good howl when you know that you've got to do another 60 miles, especially when it's going to be worse than what you've already gone over. But as far as after all this sort of days you, that you get, you. I know when you're getting near the end of it, you're saying to yourself, man's a fool for driving and doing this sort of work. And yet after a bath and a few hours of sleep, you're looking to go again. It gets you that way you talk to yourself. For instance, remember once I was going across a very badly corrugated road. The whole truck was shaking to pieces, the cab was rattling. I was tired and, and I remember yelling out, all right, if you want to shake yourself to pieces, let yourself go. And you think to yourself, oh, dear, man, this job's really getting this bloke down. 